Hi friends, welcome back to my reading nook. Today's video is going to be a book unhaul video. Um, so before I get into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. So I was going through my books and I um, just kind of found some books that I had read and didn't particularly love and knew that I probably wasn't going to read them again. And so that is what this um, video is going to be. It's going to be an unhaul and all of these books are going to go to my mom's work. They do a um, book sale, not with COVID, but they do a book sale usually um, with, at her work. And so these books are all going to go to good homes eventually. <laughs> so the first book is actually a novella. This is um, In the Grip of It by Sheena Kamal. This is the um, second book um, in the Nora Watts series. Um, it's kind of like the one and a half. <laughs> Um, I read The Lost Ones by her and really, really enjoyed it. Um, and then I read this and it was kind of just um, underwhelming. It wasn't really anything that I didn't feel that was necessary. Um, and then I also read the second book in the series and I DNF'd it. And so, um, yeah, I am going to be giving this one away. And um, I'm not sure if I'll read more from Sheena Kamal. I really did like uh, The Lost Ones, um, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, getting rid of this one. The next book I'm going to be unhauling is A Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. This one just didn't really work for me. I think I only rated it three stars on Goodreads. Um, it's quite long and I think I just felt that um, it just wasn't very um, suspenseful or um, yeah just it was too long and just not um, not really what I was expecting. The next books, there's actually four of them that I'm going to talk about all at once. And um, these are all um, lesbian romances. Um, and the reason I'm getting rid of all of them is because they don't portray an authentic lesbian romance. Um, for those of you who may not know, I am gay, I'm a lesbian, and... Um, I picked these up because I wanted to find books that I could relate to and unfortunately these ones weren't it. Um, all of these had to do, the main focus of the book was with e either um, coming out to an unaccepting community or um, you know um, old fashioned outdated values. Um, that played a part in it and so those are just not the ones that I um, enjoy reading. They don't feel authentic to me um, and since um, I've picked these up I've found that uh, Melissa Braden is actually a really good um, author for LGBTQ romance. Um, I've read her books that have lesbian characters and um, they really do a good job of portraying an authentic lesbian romance, in my opinion. Um, but unfortunately, these ones do not, and so I'm going to be unhauling them. Uh, the first one is Keeping You a Secret by Julie Ann Peters. The next one is When Katie Met Cassidy by Camille Perry. The next one is Annie on My Mind by Nancy Garden. And the last one is Under the Rainbow by Celia Lasky. 
the I took the the uh, book jacket off this one, but uh, yeah, getting rid of it. Then we have another Sherry Lapina again. She's just not my favorite. I just don't don't really enjoy her books, to be honest. Um, I think I rated this one three stars as well, and just I think it could find a better home um, with someone else than uh, with me. The next book I'm going to be unhauling. I also got rid of the dust jacket, but it's Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and I think it's Ellen Hagen. I'll put the name in the description box, but um, this is just YA and it's, um, I found it to be a little too young for me. I don't usually read YA, um, but the synopsis did intrigue me at the time. Um, and yeah, I just found it, found it to be a little too young for me. It does have good messaging around racism and sexism and um, gender inequality and all of that, but more for a high school level um, audience. And I am no longer that audience. And haven't been for about 10 years. <laughs> The next book I'm going to be getting rid of is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan. Um, I just didn't, didn't love this one. Um, it did have the, the synopsis kind of, or the plot rather, kind of reminded me of The Bachelor, except with demons instead of people. Um, but it just wasn't... Um, one that I see myself rereading. Um, yeah, it just wasn't, wasn't, uh, really for me. This is the first book in a series, I believe. And, um, yeah, hopefully someone will get, um, more use out of this than I will. And the very last book that I'm going to be unhauling is The Third Wife by Lisa Jewell. Um, Lisa Jewell is hit or miss for me. Um, I really enjoyed her book, Then She Was Gone. Um, but yeah, other than that, her books are hit or miss for me. There's another one of hers that I did enjoy. I can't remember what it was right now, but anyway. Um, I am going to be unhauling this. Um... I think I also rated this pretty low on Goodreads and yeah, it's just not, um, not for me anymore. And I think it will, um, get more use from someone else. So I'm going to be unhauling this one as well. All right, everyone, those are the books that I'm going to be unhauling. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments down below um, what book you have been, uh, reading and enjoying lately or what books, um, plural. And, um, I apologize for my videos kind of being sporadic, uh, recently. There's been a lot going on, um, in my life. And so, uh, finding time to film hasn't, um, been easy and, um, I've kind of been putting it on the back burner. Um, but I hope to make more videos soon. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys another, for another video soon. Bye friends.